breaking. Udam Dikanu's lawyers stare with open mouth as Uzo Kalu performs wonder. Udam Dikanu's lawyers stare with open mouth as Uzo Kalu performs wonders. The battle between the lawyers of Unam de Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and Senator Oji Uzo Kalu, continues as the lawyers were reportedly surprised with the way Kalu gained access to their client. The former Abia State Governor, Oji Uzo Kalu, disclosed on November 29th that he visited the separatist in custody, explained that Kanu and his family have been his friends since his time as, his, as the governor of Abia State. However, the legal counsel to Namdekanu has condemned how the senator gained access to his client with the approval of the necessary authority at the headquarter at the headquarters of the Department of State Services. Sahara reporters reported that Namdekanu's lawyer, Ifia Yejofo, in a statement released on Saturday, disclosed that despite that he made an amendment to the names of people scheduled to visit Kanu on Monday, November 29th, to accommodate the former Abia governor. The lawyers didn't the lawyers didn't know how and when he entered the DSS facility. He explained that the lawyers who are meant to visit the separatists couldn't close their mouths in surprise when they were told that Oji Uzo Kalu had visited Unamdi Kanu earlier than the scheduled time. A Geofo said, lawyers that con congregated for the visit stared with open mouths when they gained access to Onye Dumas in Abdekanu and were informed by him that Oji Uzokalu had earlier visited him that day. He added that the senator is trying to repeat what he did in 2017, stressed that he will not succeed just as he failed four years ago. He added in 2017, Oji Uzokalu exhibited a similar inclination he merely wanted to score a cheap political point, but his attempt failed woefully, and rightly so, Onyedu did not accord him any relevance whatsoever. This time, he initiated similar pretensions again his shenanigan did not produce the desired effect. The battle between the lawyers of Onamdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and Senator Oji Uzo Kalu continues as the lawyers were reportedly surprised with the way Kalu gained access to their clients. The former Abia State Governor Uzo Kalu disclosed on November 29th that he visited the separatists in court study, explained that Kanu and his family have been his friends since his time as the governor of Abia State. However, the legal counsel to Namde Kanu has condemned how the senator gained access to his client with the approval of the necessary authority at the headquarters of the Department of State Services. Sahara reporters reported that Namde Kanu's lawyer, Ifiani Ejiofo, in a statement released on Saturday, disclosed that despite that he made an amendment to the names of people scheduled to visit Kanu on Monday, November 29th, to accommodate the former Abia governor, the lawyers didn't know how and when he entered the DSS facility. He explained that the lawyers who are meant to visit the separatists couldn't close their mouth in surprise when they were told that Oji Uzokalu had visited Unamdikanu earlier than the scheduled time. Ejufo said, lawyers that congregated for the visit steered with open mouth when they gained access to Onyedo Mazi Unamdikanu and where and were informed by him that Oji Uzokalu had earlier visited him that day. He added that the senator is trying to repeat what he did in 2017, stressed that he, did, he will not succeed just as he failed four years ago. He added, in 2017, Oji Uzokalu exhibited a similar inclination. He merely wanted to score a cheap political point, but his attempt failed woefully, and rightly so, Onyedu did not accord him any relevance whatsoever. This time, he initiated similar pretensions. Again, his shenanigan did not produce the desired effect. To my dear listeners, don't we all see that Ojiuzo Okalu visit to the detention to visit um, Mazunam Dekanu is kind of suspicious. These people are just playing political tricks on us, thinking we are all fools. 
we can't just sit and watch these people because this Mazuna Abdekano he actually went to visit is fighting for liberation for his people while this man is fighting for his pocket and his selfish interest because these people it is now obvious that these people are very are well self-centered and which we do not want them in the society they do not have interest of people in mind he actually went earlier than 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 he scheduled to visit the man don't you don't don't you see that it is kind of suspicious now he's he's coming online to tell us that he's a very close member to his family if he's a very close member to his family sorry why would he have have accepted or why can't he just do anything before Mazunam Dekano got abduct, abducted to Nigeria now I'm I'm very sure um Ojikalu did not just go there he went there on a mission maybe he, he went there to silence him just to tell him to to tell his people to stop to stop to stop to stop agitating one of those things they actually wanted him to do because they know if this um Biafra leader comes out, he will ruin their plans, which their evil plans, because he actually knows them already. That is the reason why they had him in detention and they are punishing him. We are not fools. We know the kind of games they are playing. We cannot just sit and watch them doing this to him. They know that if cannot come out, if he, if he actually comes out of the detention, they have their evil plans will not be succeeded. That is the reason why more reason why they keep postponing his, his, his um his judgment. This is totally unfair. This is totally unfair. How long more would we will, will watch them doing this to him? To my favorite listeners, please drop out the comment section. Let's know what your view is all about today's news. Thank you.